Welcome back, guys. Right, so straight into it. We are heading off to help Siri get Imlarith. Um, the bastard for killing Vesemir. Um, I don't know who we're going to meet. I've got a sneaking suspicion we're going to meet the crones because it was uh, the witch's sabbath or the crone sabbath or something along those lines. Um, we did also say that we'd be back to sort those three uglers um, out and um, now we're with Siri. you know, vengeance on the brain. I do wonder if that's going to happen. I don't know how this is going to play out though. Could it be that Imlarith has them helping him? Or the other way around? Or um, maybe we don't even meet up with them at all or it's just a passing high and by. <laughs> Though I doubt it with those three. Okay, let's go into the game and see what we've got to do. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night revenge. and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. Yeah, we're gonna go meet Baldy on Bald Mountain. I'm gonna have to work on my insults if I ever meet somebody like that. He's gonna be like, oh, ouch, that really hurt my... <laughs> That really hurt me. I don't think I could survive it. Okay, find a way to the mountain summit. Oh, this looks like a good. Uh, Loads system. of footprints. Crowd of peasants came through here. Crowd of peasants. Oh no, this isn't going to be some sort of sacrificial nonsense, is it? You know what they're like with kids. Ooh. Avalach claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any vanity. foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalach's student. Oh, Avalach's got a link to them. I mean, remember, I don't know much about the law, so I'm learning as I go. <laughs> Let them oh. approach. Nice flowers. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink a plenty. Sit <laughs> down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. Ooh. Okay, don't think we've got much choice. Oh well, the time we're on our way, I wonder if actually if we go and sit down by the fire, or if we go into the village, I can actually sell some crap, repair, etc. Have a stock of my potions before we head off. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Siri, play it cool, love. Play it cool. Dude, it's like I'm really menacing with my flower crown. My pretty necklace. Much jar and stone. Right, uh, we should go. What's the feast to celebrate? I'm gonna get as much info as I possibly can because I don't know if any of this is gonna help me in whatever this boss fight's going to be. Ladies of the wood visit you. If they favour us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. Mentioned a gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the Chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess. The young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Velen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. That's, uh... Unusual. This celebration... What's it about? 
What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve <laughs> the ladies as we Fuck. do now. I can't take him seriously. <laughs> we send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling. Scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. Mm -hmm. Chill out, love. Right. Uh... Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. Oh, that's all you right don't then. Know. Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Uh, Don't judge us by others' sacrifice laws. them? <laughs> it's not others' laws. It's just a moral code that everyone should have. Don't kill children, even if they're not your own. <laughs> Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labour neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Lovely. Then we await spring. When he all loves spring. Dead, he's born he's all he, over spring, and that guy. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns. At times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favour grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Hmm. Okay. Heard enough enchanted about this. acorns. We've got other questions. No, I've already had my questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're a fire with yearning. <laughs> Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Okay, well, that was interesting. At least we got a bit of entertainment with a. Uh, Daisy boy over there. Right, I'm gonna just go and see if I can repair. Oh, uh, you with the guy. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me see what you're offering. Right, I'm repaired. Um, I've also upped my used my points that I got from leveling up because I realised I hadn't used those since last. So. I'm fully sort of, um, well, I'm mostly Igni, mostly Quen, um, and strong and um, fast attacks are what I've beefed up. So I haven't really touched potions. I know I probably should, but when I remember to pop them, that's the problem. So I'm always going to beef up the stuff that I remember to use. <laughs> Everybody plays differently. Um... Now, talk to Thecla and get permission to climb the mountain. I thought we got to get permission. I'll just go. Right, let's go. Go speak to Thecla. <laughs> ladies, merciful ladies. As long as you're over Child. 25. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Johnny! Well, old B, you're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. <laughs> I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. <laughs> they call me Siri. Shit. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? Bless him. Uh, why are you here? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse. Same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. 
What about you? We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. Worse, even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. Sounds like we've got a quest to do before we can get even get up to go and speak to old um speak to old Imlarif. We're gonna knock his head off. <laughs> uh Yeah, let's get some intel. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the crones. Big bloke, in full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday. Heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed Business. my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Alright, so if the ladies bow and scrape before him and we defeat him, then the ladies shouldn't be much issue, should they? The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Oh, good grief! You're worse than children! Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's <laughs> old and ugly. What good is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. And who are you calling Geralt ugly? Gotta get to the summit. Just need a shave. That. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but <laughs> she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck and do hope we meet again someday. Cheers, Johnny. Oh, I like Johnny. Oh, she's in the tent. Okay. It's clearing up. Mm. Who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. <sighs> Never mind. Got me answer. <laughs> I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. Yeah, I think we should go with her. They're dangerous, aren't they? If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar and eyes like a viper. Aye. <sighs> Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus <laughs> it's old nice. and infertile. That's old spice. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. Well, you knew that was happening. Uh, let's keep trying. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Mm. Girl? He's prior than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice. But to do so you must best the challenge. There we go, here's the quest. What's the challenge? What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. The water's full of drowners. <laughs> I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. <laughs> nice decor. Oh, frick. I'd find that worse. High jump. Look no thanks. Summer. A coin from days of yore. 
Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Auron. We're not going to get it, are we? Thanks. Now, bring me the coin. Oh, goody. Something's afoot. Something's nigh. Mm. Always nick a book when I can. Right, so if we're going in there, let's see what I can pop. Kill a whale. Reckon we're going to come across some form of drowner or something, water hag or some crap. Right, off we go then. See you in a sec. See if I can just um, swim past them. I'll do. Probably didn't even need that. Oh, get off me. annoying but usually you can just be left alone what the hell's that what was that oh it's a fiend oh awesome let's have a bit of that uh but i'm not gonna want that in there in case i got the wrong thing let's put my swallow back I, I doubt i'll need it I don't even know if I've got the right oil on. He's a relic, isn't he? I think they're relics. I'm trying to remember. Don't judge me. Oh, bloody hell. It's fucking There we go. That'll do. Let's have a go. Woohoo! I hate this. Oh, I'm stuck. Lovely. <laughs> well, if I can hide down here, I can wait. There we go. No, we're going to get him. Just fell down. How do I get up? You gonna let me get up? See what I mean about the game? It's pretty shit for this. Here we go. Right, where is he? There must be a way to counteract it. There must be something I'm not doing, a potion I'm not popping, or a sign I'm not hitting. Or maybe there isn't, and you just have to wait for it to pass. I was beginning to worry. Never mind, I'm here. Get the key. Something's afoot. They're back. What do you want? <laughs> Hi. What's on the peak? Can't help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell there. But only the Chosen may look upon them. I know that. I want. You'll learn nothing else here. Helpful as ever. Got that coin you tossed in the lake. This is for you. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for you. Now go. I don't think I like the sound of that. It feels like a bit of a trick. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop one. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a zoogle. Come on then. 
last of the chosen will now ascend the mount to the feet. I don't trust this woman that's given us this key. Okay, in we go. Oh. <laughs> Easy now. What the friggity What's fuck are you? What's your name, girl? What's yours? <clears throat> your name don't matter. Atop the peak you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? I've got a feeling we've got to fight this dude. I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. There we go. Boom. <laughs> you didn't even scratch me with Wonder your fire breath. A bitch. No, it wasn't. no time to lose. I'll turn to Imlerith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlerith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. Damn oh. it! Ha uh -huh. ha! Fate has decided. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, Imlerith is dangerous. I'll take care of him. Well, fate has decided. Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain. You face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. Hmm. Not sure you that too. is the better of the two. 